Hey there, Steve again with TUA Outdoors here for another skills instructional video. So today I'm going to be in the Ambler Pool um, demonstrating how to do a kayak self-rescue. So as we're kayaking, it's really essential that we practice our skills before we get out into the water in an emergency situation. I also recommend taking a skills course um, with a qualified instructor such as myself before you go out on the water. Also, it's always recommended to go out with at least one other buddy so you always have somebody that can help you get back into your kayak. But if you're far away from your group or you're doing some solo training, this is a really critical skill that you should learn how to do. So that way you can safely get back into your kayak, get the water out, and then continue on your paddling journey. So without further ado, here's the video. As you can see, I'm getting a little unstable here. I kind of go down a little bit um, what I'm doing here is I pulled my spray skirt, I did what's called a wet exit, and if you notice as I'm moving around the boat, I'm holding onto the boat at all times. So if I was in rough waves or water or anything like that, I don't want to lose my boat because I'm a lot more visible with the, my large kayak. Um, also that's going to give me a lot more stability that I can float on. I'm also holding onto my paddle, so I don't want to lose any gear. What I did here was I went around to the back and grabbed what's called my paddle float. So this is a device that I recommend if you do a lot of kayaking because this, as you can see, I'm inflating it right now, um, gives you a little bit of extra buoyancy for your paddle. So you can do this self-rescue with just your paddle um, if that's all you have, but it's a lot easier if you have a, um, a paddle float because again, like I said, that's going to give you a lot more buoyancy. So as you can see, again, making sure I'm not losing my kayak, you can see it's actually kind of floating away with just uh, some of the water we're adding to the pool at the moment. Making sure that I'm holding onto the boat, making sure everything's really controlled. So now what I'm doing is I put this over my shoulder and I used it kind of like a counterweight. So if you think of like a trebuchet or something like that, um, that allows that gives me enough leverage that I can actually launch the boat up um, above my head. If you noticed, I didn't let go of the boat at all. So now what I'm doing is I again moving around the boat, um, trying to get move around at a different angle so you can see what I'm doing there. Um, and I use the paddle float out on the boat like an outrigger. So I put that behind what's called the cockpit combing. So I tuck that underneath. Hold it flat, make sure it's perpendicular to the boat. I do a not so graceful um, dolphin kick so I can get up on the back deck of the boat. The reason I want to get on the back deck of the boat is because that gives me a lot more stability. I'm staying low, and if you notice, I'm really leaning on to the paddle that's working like an outrigger to provide that stability. I'm going to take my time getting back in the boat, again staying low so I can keep my center of gravity low tuck my feet in through the front, and then I'm going to situate myself. Uh, I can use that, continue using that paddle with the paddle floats for stability. All right, so that was a just a quick highlight of what a kayak self-rescue looks like. So there are a few different techniques you can use, and as I mentioned, you may not um, have a paddle float. It does make it a lot easier because it gives you that buoyancy so you can get back into the water. But again, I recommend taking a uh, further training, making sure that you assess the waterways, plan ahead so that way you don't get caught into rough waters where you may capsize. And there are lots of other techniques where you can help stabilize your boat, um, which we'll probably get into in future videos. So that's all for now. Have fun out there.